Do you still animate your fingers like this? So many finger bones to care about? Here is how I animate my fingers. With just one bone. Let's learn how I did it. Begin with a simple hand rig. Duplicate the hand bone or add a new one and name it Fist Controller. Now parent it to the hand bone. Next, go in the action editor and add a new action. Name the action as Fist. Now animate the hand forming a fist similarly to what I have done. Make sure you only add keyframes to the finger bones. Also, remember the first and the last keyframes on the timeline. Now save it as a fake user and close it. Next, in the pose mode, select one of the bones of your finger. Go to bone constraints and add an action constraint. In the action constraint, select the target to your rig and the bone to the fist bone we created earlier. In the target subsection, change the channel to Y location and set it to local space. Set the range minimum and maximum to how much you want to move the bone to achieve the effect. In my case, 0 to 0 0.2 works. And at last, select the action you recently created, that is the punch action, and set the start and end frames of the animation as first and the last keyframes of your action. Now this bone will follow the action, but you still have all the other bones to be constrained. So to copy the constraints to all other bones, select the other bones first and then select the already constrained bone. Go to the pose, constraints and select copy constraints to the selected bones. Done. Now all your fingers can be animated using this single bone. The plus point to using this technique is that you can override the actions whenever you need and it will blend in very easily. I hope that you find this video valuable. Also, if you want to know how to make anime shaders in Blender and add outlines to your model, check these videos out. And thank you for watching.